the video I'm responding to wouldn't be allowed on YouTube if they were to enforce their TOS consistently. Even if someone uses the sociology definition of racism or racist, it doesn't change the fact that the video in question has people of one race saying a bunch of negative things about people of another race. If the races were reversed, not only would the video get taken down, but the entire channel would probably be terminated for severe violations of the TOS. Now, I understand that the video in question is over a month old, and I'm sort of late to the party. I had considered making a video about this around when the time that it was viral, but I just... I didn't want to dive into that at the time. And uh, recently there was someone who left a comment, and it was the third comment. Why am I going like this? This is two, and this is three, and that is, is really stupid. Um, yo, yo, uh, banana fungus, you know, it's a zipper or something, right? No, but I had gotten a third request to make a video about this, so I decided to do that, so. What exactly are white people superior at? Oh, well, according to television, everything. A white man could fly. Even a white woman, she could be four foot one. She knew karate. She could take down 15 people. If I'm to be honest with myself, she makes a good point right there. Uh, Hollywood movies, television programs, they do make white people out to be just the ultimate anything. You know, we can do anything, right? And that message is pervasive. Now, don't get me wrong, I understand that most of this stuff is supposed to be fantasy. It's all supposed to be over the top. But when only certain groups are shown as being over the top in that way, I mean, it can affect people. What are white people superior at? Man. Huh. Um. Uh. <laughs> um. Oh, God. Yeah, I agree with all the reactions. I mean, do they actually expect them to say something significant? You know, I, I mean, if you asked white people this question, I mean, do you expect them to say anything significant either? They're going to be like, well, well, no, nothing. They, they just keep talking, mostly about their pets. White people love their dogs, like, that's all you see. Well, yeah, pet owners of all races usually love their pets. Usually. There's always exceptions where they treat their pets like shit, but that has no race to it. Eat cats, letting them get on your countertops while you're cooking, yes. Yeah, I think that's weird too, you know, no matter where their cats have been, Let's just have them walk all over the countertops. It's like, you know, humans, we want to, you know, remove our shoes, you know, after we come in the house. But cats, oh yeah, who, who cares where they've been, right? Yeah, that's weird. I get that you love your pet, but like, you need to take it everywhere? Like, everywhere? I guess, you know, hey, emotional support animals, I guess. You know. What exactly are white people superior at? <laughs> Fuck, man, like making cereal. Casseroles. What kind of casserole? Tuna. It's always tuna. What do you mean? It's always tuna. Now that's some funny shit, because you know it's true. Using mayonnaise in a lot of their recipes. Yeah, and that's just nasty. I am not a fan of mayonnaise. He's making bland food. Unseasoned chicken. How are you going to start whole spice wars and don't even use seasoning on your food? I mean, come on. Look, I agree that typically in typical white culture, they tend to be rather bland on their food. They don't use very many robust seasonings or any of that. Um, but if they try to use more robust seasonings, you'll tell them, oh, that's cultural appropriation. Just like, oh, well, you should come up with your own. What do you mean? Come up with your own seasonings? There's only so many, there's only so many ingredients. And if they take a few from here, take a few from there, you're like, oh, that's cultural appropriation. What exactly are white people superior at? Smelling funky. Santa Claus. Extreme water sports. Corn mazes. White people are great at having fun. That's a function of white supremacy because they just don't have as many stresses as we do. I certainly wouldn't say that white people are better at having fun. 
most white people are so caught up in all these rules and ways that you're supposed to act and, and perfectionism and a number of other things that it's kind of hard for many white people to have fun. Yeah, there's some things that uh, white people generally don't have to think about or deal with because things are geared around white people. You know, I, I'm not one of these people who tries to claim that white privilege doesn't exist. It, it definitely exists. Is it to the level that many people claim that it is? You know, maybe not. That, that's questionable. It's debatable. But this notion that white people have more fun, I don't know about that. Um, like I said, some of the things about the culture makes people harder to loosen up. White people are very superior at their privilege and utilizing it. We do not have the privilege to do whatever and however we want to. Armed white people can surround a government building and not get violently arrested or shot. Whereas if black people tried to do the same thing, there would be a major issue. There'd be a major incident. So, yeah. What exactly are white people superior at? Uh, not getting arrested. You know, I was driving down the street with uh, I turned down the highway with a friend of mine who was white when he's like I need to I'm just want to pull over and pee and I'm in the passenger seat and I was like please don't because a black man thinks differently if I pull over to the side of the road and pee a cop is going to be right behind me to punish me I can't disagree with that that is what people experience and I wish this video would have stuck to things like that but unfortunately it didn't to pee or not to pee that is the the situation what exactly are white people superior at? Insecurity? Pretending? Fear? Holy crap, that is some scary eyeshadow. At least you could have worn a shirt or something or anything that matched it. But but fear? Yeah, yeah, white people are good at, at fear, but so is any race. Being fearful of nothing. Being ignorant. Blame. Letting their egos control their every move. I mean, come on now. I mean, what cultures here in the United States don't put their ego high up on a pedestal? Some of that's just kind of part of what capitalism does to people as well. You know, how much can I get? How much do I have? How much can I show that off? A lot of this is perpetuated by Abrahamic religions. This notion that, oh, I am... I'm just a step away from God. Everything I do is approved by God. Oh, you know. And this notion that humans aren't animals, you know, we're better than animals, and, and you, have, you have this approval from God, you know. That sort of thing is pretty common under Abrahamic religions. There are very few belief systems that call for things like ego death. You, you got Buddhism, there are some other beliefs, um, but... I mean, the whole ego thing being put up on a pedestal is just very common throughout the United States and Western countries in general. It's it's not really a white thing. Privilege. Privilege. Feeling victimized. Playing the victim. Congratulating themselves over shit that they're incompetent at <laughs> or that should have already been done. And you're claiming this is a white thing? They're superior at being dicks. What exactly are white people superior at? Oppression. Gaslighting. Lack of empathy. Intellectualizing oppression. Did I say oppression? They're just creatively thinking of new ways of like always staying one step ahead of other people. If we get rid of slave catchers, then let's just expand the police force. Like that stuff to me is wild. White culture does encourage the people to plot and plan and stay ahead of the game. This has both negative and positive consequences. What exactly are white people superior at? Making us believe that we don't matter. Believing that they're superior. Feeling superior. Thinking they're superior. Thinking that they're superior. Thinking that they are superior. I must admit to being mildly annoyed at their video editing techniques, or at least as far as making a response video, they, every time they clip to a new scene, they continue the sound from the previous scene for just a split second, right? So it always sounds like I'm cutting everyone off, but uh, I know of very few white people who think that white people are superior. You, you, so many of these messages push this notion, oh, white people think they're superior, white people think they're superior, and I'm like, I don't know anyone who thinks in these terms. I don't know anyone who thinks this way. 
It's a, it's a giant straw man. Yeah, there are actual white supremacists out there who think that way, but you know, you 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 all conveniently, you know, when when you define white supremacy, you'll define it as a, a system of white supremacy. So if anyone doesn't try to take down this entire system, then they're supporting white supremacy. But then here you're using the old definition of white supremacy, which has to do with people who actually think that white people are superior. Well, that's a straw man because people don't think that way. Nope. Very few people actually think that way. There are very few actual old school definition of white supremacists. There's very few of them. So this kind of argument is a bit frustrating. It's, it's like you want to just conveniently choose which definition of white supremacy you're using in order to bolster your arguments. It's, it's frustrating. Self-delusion. Controlling the narrative. Believing their own press. Marketing of white superiority. Whether you are Republican, whether you're Democrat, whether you're conservative, like white people are really good at upholding white supremacy. Now see you're using the other definition of white supremacy where it's a system and unless people are dedicating their lives to dismantling this system and completely changing the government and getting rid of capitalism and so on and so forth, they're supporting a system of white supremacy. And it, it's bullshit. It's bullshit. How about claiming that, you know, they are actually a whole separate race when actually white DNA comes from the black female. So what exactly are white people superior? Honey, lying, stealing, and cheating. Manipulation. Withholding information. Lying. Telling lies. We often lie in order to not hurt people's feelings. If we know that somebody really likes something, and we don't, we think it's rude, or we generally think it's rude to go on about how much we don't like it, unless the person asks for our honest opinion. If we have a negative view of a particular demographic, we usually keep it to ourselves. We're the least likely demographic to express those views publicly. If we really don't like a person, we'll still try to treat that person with respect, at least to their face. This unfortunately also means that we're the most likely people to talk about people behind their back. So yes, we are a culture of lies. We're the most likely to pretend that we feel a way that we do not actually feel. And we expect that everyone else does the same thing. And when they don't, we become very uncomfortable. We sometimes even question the morals of people who don't do the same thing. That kind of honesty terrifies some people. We're all about having double lives. Our professional work life and the side that tries to be ourselves and have a good time. And we again expect the same out of everyone else. You know, especially if you're in a work setting, never actually say how you really feel about things. You gotta keep that cog moving, right? And in recent years, even our attempts to be more ourselves outside of a workplace can affect our professional lives, no matter how anonymous we try to be. It somewhat feels like, you know, just around the corner, we're not going to be able to express how we really feel or be ourselves or be relaxed about anything. You know, we'll be able to have a good time the way that you would in a workplace. You know, where we have to be professional 24-7. And if that does actually happen to society out of whatever reason, I mean, maybe they'll, they'll be a social credit system with corporations coming soon, who knows? But if that eventually happens, it's going to break a lot of people. And in a country that glamorizes violence, the results of this will not be very pleasant. They say that history is written by the victor, but the victor could be replaced by the colonizer. What are white people superior at? Conquering. Imperialism. Imperialism. Colonizing. Colonizing. Colonialism. Colonization. Colonization. They might be better at that than us and everybody else, really. I mean, we certainly were good at it in the past, but are we really good at it now? Are we really colonizing places now? I mean, I understand that there are greedy people that use capitalism to gentrify neighborhoods and such, but can you blame that on all white people? Is this something that all white people possess? Is this something that we all teach ourselves is okay? I don't think so.
They ballsy, they rose up all over the world and they walk into everybody's house and says, oh, this is nice, I'm gonna take your shit. And they have no qualms about it. They can take anything, baby. I'm not quite sure what you're talking about there. I mean, I'm sure there are some really, really rich white people who think they can do anything because they're rich, but I mean, some everyday Joe Blow, a white guy, yeah, they're, they're not, they don't just storm in someone's home and decide they wanna take shit. No, it just, it just doesn't happen. Suddenly I have all this imagery that I've gotten and video footage that I've seen of white farmers being brutalized in Africa. What exactly are white people superior at? They're real good at violence. Violence? Genocide. It's like stealing people's lives just because they feel like it. If you are white and you know this is happening and you say nothing, then you're a killer too. You are adopting a whole philosophy that says it's okay to do this, and part of that philosophy allows you to be ignorant, right? And they're like, oh, I didn't know. What are you referring to? And if you say that, oh, if you don't know, then you're guilty. You know, is it a Kafka trap? I mean, I mean, seriously. What exactly are white people superior at? Taking what's not there. Taking shit. Taking our ideas. Copycat. Well, I mean, if you're speaking about music, I mean, just about everything is copycatted from something else. Most music is ripping off other people. Most art is ripping off other people. Not all, but most. And some far more than others. And there are assholes of every race who rip off other people's stuff and then try to claim it as theirs. In the past, you know, especially prior to like 40 years ago, this sort of thing could be done on a regular basis and there was no repercussion for it. There's countless examples of white people getting away with that shit in the past, all the time. In the age of the internet, someone will figure out where something originally came from. You can't get away with that shit anymore. And that's a good thing. You know, you can't just rip off someone's stuff and then claim it as your own. Someone will call you out. Gentrification. Appropriating things that do not belong to them. Taking over other people's cultures and making you believe that they invented it. Maybe they're thinking of it as repurposing. It's like recycle and repurpose. As my grandma was saying, them white folk, they'll take it if you don't copyright it. Well, considering that some woke people get bent out of shape if a white guy wants to open a Mexican restaurant, you know, and yet you complain that, oh, oh, white people don't use any, any seasonings, their, their food is bland. Yeah, but so when they try to do, to, to do something that they know is good from another culture, oh, cultural appropriation, everyone. It's just stupid. They are very good at destruction of land, destruction of people, destruction of humanness. If you're talking about what rich white guys do and gentrification and, and that sort of thing, you know, you can't blame that on just white people. You gotta blame that on people who use capitalism to be as greedy as possible, you know? And that's something well worth criticizing. It should be criticized. We shouldn't look up to those people. We shouldn't say, oh, they made good business decisions. No, we should say, hey, they're doing shitty things, right? What exactly are white people superior at? White people are not superior uh, with anything. Nothing. It, nothing. Nothing. There is nothing. <laughs> nothing. I don't believe that they're superior in any way, shape, or form. Just because our skin color is different, you're no better than me, you're no smarter than me. No, no superiority there. I don't think you're going to get anyone to disagree except the actual white supremacists, the, the ones who are, you know, the, the old definition of white supremacist, okay? You know, now, I mean, there are some other things within white culture that are, uh, like, how important people feel about, oh, everything being on time and time management, you know, we, we go crazy over that. There's also how so many white people are perfectionists. You know, you, you gotta get everything just perfect and it always has to be perfect. And if it's not, well, I mean, there's good sides to perfectionism and there's bad sides to it. There, there's a lot of mental issues that can come with, with uh, perfectionism. You know, anxiety, depression, eating disorders, uh, uh, self-harm, OCD, you know, I, I exude at least three of those traits because I have this perfectionism tendency and, and it hinders me in a lot of ways. And there's a lot of people who are hindered by this. There's a lot of mental issues that can come from this. 
Okay, so I'm not going to put all that kind of thing up on a pedestal. At the same time, though, perfectionism, we, we can sometimes create some great things through that kind of mindset. But we can't expect everyone to have that kind of mindset. We certainly shouldn't look down on people who don't have that kind of mindset, you know. I mean, if you're if you're in a, if a recording studio, sure, try to make it as good as you can, fine. But people like myself take it way over the top. We 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 try to be perfectionists in areas that are just kind of silly. Well, who 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 cares about that? Well, well, I do because because what? Well, because I'm obsessive. So, you know. But uh, not everyone is like me in that regard. You know, most people aren't nearly as obsessive as I am. But there is a, a tinge of it in white culture, in white society. And I don't think we should have that much of a problem with calling some of those things out. But like I said at the beginning of this video, you know, if, if the races were reversed and someone made a video like the one I responded to, it would be taken down and possibly the channel uh, making that video would be terminated for violating the terms of service. So, but, uh, you know, hopefully this video won't be flagged in some way.